Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mel Herbert here. It's a beautiful sunny day. Oh my gosh, wonderful day. But I've got anxieties. If you listen to the show, you know I'm worried about the supercharger network. There's so many Model 3s and soon Model Ys coming. The supercharger network here in California, very congested. So here's the thought experiment that I want to do with you. And it's almost certainly wrong, but let's do it anyway. Would it be commercially viable to create your own supercharger network? Put up some panels, uh, get some battery backup, and buy some V3 supercharger nozzles and create your own supercharger that might drive traffic to your hamburger joint or wherever it is that your commercial property is, somewhere up and down the California coast. I'm worried. There's too many Teslas and not enough charging. So let's go through the scenario. Let's see if I can make my own private commercial supercharger and let's do some assumptions. So it's going to go like this. We are going to assume 10 cars a day are going to go through here. They're going to charge about 50 kilowatts per session in a Model 3. That gives you around 200 miles in range. And that means we need 500 kilowatt hours a day of solar. So we need a 100 kilowatt solar array, according to the various calculators on the interwebs. Four of those sessions are going to occur after the sun goes down. So we're going to need 200 kilowatts of storage. So that's one Tesla power pack. In terms of costs, this is where, you know, it could be all over the place. But let's say $4 a watt, so $400,000 for the solar array, $145,000 for the power pack. I have no idea how much a V3 supercharger nozzle is going to cost, but I'll go to Buffalo, New York, and I'll see if they'll give me two of them for $10,000. And installation, $50,000. This might be way off. This might be $100,000, $150,000. I don't know. But for the sake of things, let's say that's $600,000. I'm going to go out and get a loan. I'm going to get a 4% loan over 15 years. I'm going to pay this off. That means I need to generate about $4,500 a month from this puppy. From the 300 and charging sessions, that works out to $15 per session or about 30 cents per kilowatt hour, which isn't too different than what uh, Tesla charges here in California, which is usually about 26 cents a kilowatt hour. And you, this is no maintenance. This assumes no maintenance and you didn't have to buy the land either. And so you'd have to charge more, maybe something like 40 cents because you do to do maintenance. But this doesn't give you much maintenance money, only about $360 worth of maintenance. So a conclusion which probably is horribly flawed is that this is not viable to create income because it costs so much to do, but it might be useful to drive traffic to your place. You've got your hamburger joint, you've got whatever it is, this might be uh, viable from that point of view. Now, another way to test whether this is about right is that this is a thing called an EV arc. It's by Envision Solar. We have nothing to do with them, no advertising. But they've got this little solar array, they've got a battery, and uh, these cost about $50,000. If you look at the specs on these puppies, the specs say that they can do up to 200 miles a day. So if you look at this, they can, you know, they can do about 25 kilowatt hours a day in these puppies. So you need about 20 of these. They cost about $50,000 each. So we're talking about a million dollars. So that is sort of ballpark to what I was thinking about 600,000. And mine is faster. Mine's DC, really fast, and battery backup that's much bigger. So what do you think? How big would this solar array be? This is a local high school, and you see these all over California, big solar canopy. Each one of these has about 70 kilowatts of solar. So one of these could almost do our scenario. They're pretty big, but certainly not too big for most commercial spaces. So something like one or two of these, and you could do our scenario. So it's, it's viable in terms of the size and maybe viable in terms of the cash. What do you think?